Hey, folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, ATS.io, and Vegas Hockey Island, my daily hockey show in Vegas. Kind of apropos for this video, we're talking about an outdoor NHL game on Saturday, Lake Tahoe. This is going to be something really special, just the views for starters when Colorado takes on the Vegas Golden Knights. The irony of ironies is these teams are in the middle of a four-game set. You don't normally see this where the teams play the game leading into the outdoor game. In the Pacific Division, a weaker division than most in the NHL, these are the two power brokers. St. Louis obviously would have something to say about that. But at the end of the day, Vegas and Colorado look like they're on a collision course to play in the postseason. And the first two games that were played earlier in the week at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas, one nothing Vegas with a shutout win, Colorado coming off a lengthy break. And then the second game, one of the best games of the year, 3-2 was the final score. Nazem Kadri scored late in the game to give the Avs the win. Now, what does that mean coming into the outdoor games in past years? And we're going to do another video for the Philadelphia-Boston outdoor game that's going to be played on Sunday. And I think they could be completely different for uh, one big reason. And that's that big yellow globe in the sky. We'll see because the weather is absolutely something you take into account in an outdoor hockey game. A, I think the NHL's done an incredible job now. They know how to make better ice for the outdoor games, which lets the players put their skill set on display. Weather, wind could be a thing, but glare for the goalies can be a thing. Now, Saturday, it's supposed to be around 30 degrees at faceoff. It's in the afternoon. The sun is to the side. So they had the luxury not being in a football stadium where the rink has to go where the only spot that's available to them. They've got it set up that the sun and the shadows, you see the shadows and the impact behind you it can have. The goalies really have a problem when it's bright sunshine. That could be more of a situation for you on Sunday. In terms of these two teams, it's basically a pick. Colorado's minus a dime. Vegas is about even money. The total is a little interesting to me. Five and a half, and the under is even money. I would have thought that the odds makers could have considered putting a five up. Now, there are tons of uh, stout offensive weapons on both of these teams. Nathan McKinnon's a rocket sled. The game they played earlier in the week, the second game, was one of the fastest and best games of the year. But here's the deal. The two goalies that are playing in the game, Mark andre Fleury, number one in the league in save percentage. Grubauer for the Avs, who's playing in the game, number two in the league in save percentage. Yeah, they'll be flying up and down the ice. Generally in outdoor games, you score off face-offs. It's a dump and chase game, and you score with the man advantage. These two teams should be flying. But it's the goalies that make you have to take a look at A, it's an outdoor game, and B, the goalies are playing really great. And the total on the game is 5.5. I think you could take a, a real long, hard look at the under. And maybe inside the game, Vegas got scored on in the final minute of the game, had a stone in their shoe. Maybe you take a look at Vegas in the first period. Maybe to jump out of the gate. They're fired up, a little revenge on their mind. But, boy, this should be a terrific hockey game. Think the under is probably the way to go. Glad to be with you at ATS.io. I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, and we'll have another video for you on the Sunday outdoor game at Lake Tahoe. This incredible vista is going to be a fun weekend of outdoor hockey in the National Hockey League.